Hey what's up YouTube, it's me again Matt. I'm going to show you a video on how to set up your Kodi Media Player. So let's get right into it. So if you have launched or installed for the first time Kodi, now what do you do next? Now how would you get all the movies and TV shows or live streams that, um, that, that you were able to see in other uh, Kodi setup? Now I'm going to show you in this video on how to set up or how to uh, add or install add-ons on your Kodi and uh, be able to watch uh, live shows or TV shows, even um, live uh, sports program. Now uh, this is intended for newbie Kodi users, so my setup pace uh, would be uh, slow and uh, just bear with my accent. Uh, this is my second uh, language and um, just don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so you could get or watch the videos that I'm regularly uploading every week don't forget to like or dislike this uh, this uh, video and leave your comments on how, how I can improve um, my videos in the future so let's get right into it so um, First of all, you have to go to the settings of uh, Kodi. This is the main screen and you have to go to the settings. And the first thing that you have to to do on how to set up uh, Kodi or install add-ons is you have to go to the system settings and from add-ons menu on the left side, you have to enable unknown sources. Okay? So uh, in my Kodi, this is not the first time that I have uh, set up or installed an add-on, so it's already selected. If it's not selected, uh, there will be a gray button like this. And if you would notice, in my videos, I mean uh, add-ons, I've already previously installed Exodus. So uh, again, go ahead in the system settings, add-ons, and enable unknown sources okay now after that um, we'll be able to install or add a source from the file manager also from the system um, uh, menu go ahead and select file manager and we're going to add source now in this video I'm going to teach you how to install a few uh, sources uh, about seven of them uh, the the process would be um, relatively uh, similar um, I'm going to uh, dictate to you the the exact um, uh, source or uh, the source address where you could um, uh, view movies um, TV shows etc now from here you have to select ads add source and the first that um, that I'm going to teach you how to install is is um, Ares. So you just have to click this part. None. I selected none, and then I'm going to dictate to you and show you in the video the exact address. So you just have to. Um, in order to avoid errors you just have to um, type exactly what I type in the screen so the address for ARIS is type uh, HTTP colon double, double forward slash ARIS dot I mean ARIS dash repo dot EU. All right. So again, uh, that's HTTP double forward slash Aries dot repo dot AU. Go ahead and select OK. Then type in a name, a name um, that that, would do, that you will be able to recognize it. You can put in any name, but for uh, for a con uh, naming convention. In order to recognize it easily, I'm going to type um, uh, Aries, right? And click OK. 
hit OK again. All right. So uh, this is, as you can see, um, the Aries uh, was already uh, added. The source Aries is already appearing here. So we're going to install a few of uh, other sources. So um, again, uh, it's relatively uh, same. You just have to add source and type exactly the address that I have, that I'll be showing you on the screen. And uh, again, just a reminder, uh, just type it as it is as what you see in the screen to avoid errors so next let's try to add another source hit none and I'm going to type HTTP double forward slash noob send nurse dot com forward slash portal so let's double check its spelling it's uh, http colon double forward slash noobsanders.com slash portal so that's okay hit okay and let's type uh, bob hit okay so i put a a dot in order to um to make the source on top of the list and click OK again now so this is a reminder it says uh, unable to connect so it's uh, likely possible that uh, the source would be down as of the moment what you can do in case this happens is you can uh, just retry it and uh, if it's still no good you may just have to skip it and then try it at a later time again now sometimes you just have to to double check the the address so let me correct it it should be noobsandnurse.com forward slash portal then put in a name again hit ok and add source again now this time uh, again it's the same thing and then I'm going to type in media repos dot net forward slash Cody stuff Cody stuff so HTTP double forward slash media repos dot net Cody forward slash Cody stuff hit OK and I'm going to put in a name dot venue hit OK OK again so it's possible that the address that I have typed is incorrect so I'm going to hit no now this time I've checked the address and it seems correct now it's possible that the the um, um, the source is uh, unavailable right now so I'm just go going to go ahead and uh, add it anyway and I'm going to add a source again and uh, this time I'm going to um, add uh, add-on cloud dot, dot work right so type again HTTP and then add-on cloud org forward slash uturk forward slash install hit ok again put a name uturks uturks hit ok alright so I'm going to check again if I made something wrong. Right, so I made a mistake. It should be um, add on cloud.org UK Turk forward slash install. Now the next source would be Maverick. So same thing again. 
so it should be maverick repo.net hit ok I put in a name dot maverick ok ok I'm going to Alright, so I've checked the address and it's uh, okay. Maybe the server is down. So I'm just going to add it anyway. And uh, the next source would be mediarepos.net forward slash tzo. So I'm, again, I'm going to add a source again. dot net forward slash tco let's double check it's http colon forward slash media repos dot net forward slash tco i'm going to hit ok and i'm going to um, name it as made in canada hit ok And the next um, source that we're going to add is um, makis.media portal for kodi.ml. So again, same thing. So let's just try to skip uh, those uh, which are not um, server could uh, could not be rich uh, right now. Dot media portal for Cody.ml I'm going to put in a name that one two three movies add a source again and uh, let's try to install uh, source archive.org forward slash download repository dot stream hub okay same thing again http forward slash archive dot org forward slash download forward slash repository dot stream hub okay let's double check its uh, spelling archive.org forward slash download forward slash repository dot stream hub hit ok let's put in a name dot stream or dot stream hub hit ok and the next one is uh, cloud tv add source again same thing So the address would be k d i l dot c o forward slash r e p i. Hit OK. Then C Cloud. I think it would be repo. Let's try repo. Alright. So 
the next one would be oblivion so I didn't uh, pause some of the videos but uh, you may just uh, try to pause the video on your own so you could get the exact um, address so again it's http colon forward slash then this time we're going to install oblivion so its address is oblivion builds.com forward slash repo so it's oblivion builds dot com forward slash repo let's put a name oblivion go ahead to hit ok and we're almost uh, done let me just uh, double check my notes so we've already installed Ares new media repos Maverick right I think uh, that would be all from my list that I would recommend these are the sources that uh, I would recommend so as you can see so we have here one two three uh, movies so maybe you have uh, used uh, a different name um, but uh, that's okay so from here um, I'm going to um, walk you through on the process of installing the uh, the sources so basically uh, the next step would be to to um, uh, install uh, the zip file then install the uh, repository and uh, fr from there we just have to go to the main screen right click go to the main screen from here uh, from the menus on the right side um, you have to go to add-ons and on the upper right cor left corner you could see this um, uh, box icon uh, it's where we could install the zip uh, file and install from repository so from here so these are the two things that we have to go to install from zip file after installing the zip file we're going to go ahead and install from repository and then uh, later on at the end of this movie I mean uh, not movie but uh, the end of this uh, video I'm going let's see uh, some of the um, add-ons that we've installed so let's go ahead and install uh, first uh, uh, Ares so let's go to Ares now we're going to install the um, the keyword is uh, repository uh, zip file okay So if it doesn't work from um, okay so you just have to wait for for the message uh, add-on installed once it's installed um, you're, go you're going to go to install from repository and uh, as you can see here um, you have the Ares uh, project and from the Ares project uh, the Ares project would be uh, it's a program add-on instead of a video add-on so we're going to select program add-ons then Ares wizard from there um, at the bottom you will see the only option is install so I've click I've selected it wait for just be patient to see the message um, Ares installed and from here uh, so it's already installed so you just have to um, go back to the main menu so let's all right so if you go to um, video add-ons or
not video add-on but uh, from program add-ons you will see here that the Ares wizard is already there and you can open it but um, later I will I'll be showing you on how to uh, make it work all right so let's go back again to the previous screen let's install the rest of the uh, sources let's uh, install the uh, noob senders so we've named it as Bob okay so if it's not available let's go ahead and uh, skip it let's try menu so it's not the server is also not available how about the media repos I mean um, the UK Turks where's the UK Turks all right so it's uh, the service the server is uh, reachable let's go ahead and install the repository UK Turk zip file so we just have to wait till it prompts you that the the um, repository was installed or the add-on installed okay so the there's a prompt we're going to go ahead and install from repository next so you would see UK Turk add-on repository was installed then from there video add-ons and from here we're going to go ahead and install UK Turk playlist as you can see here you would see here some information some uh, information would uh, there will be a brief description about uh, about the add-on that you're trying to install some uh, doesn't have so let's go ahead and install be patient enough to wait till it prompts you that the add-on was installed here as you can see here add-on installed just um, disregard if there are some error that appears and wait till the message uh, um, so it says here that uh, it's still downloading 1% the installation would depend of course in your internet connection uh, I won't uh, um, pause the video alright so UK Turk playlist is installed and you'll be able to verify it here on the right side it would show the version that you have installed now alright so from there go ahead and install again from zip file now we're going to install neck uh, maverick I guess the server is not available then uh, let's go to made in Canada that seems uh, not available as well now one two three movies uh, apparently it's not also available uh, about Maki's we're, we're not able to install uh, Maki's uh, that's the one two three movie so let's go ahead and skip it How about stream stream hub all right repository that stream hub that zip install from all right so let's wait till it prompts us that it's already installed 
so let's just be patient right so it says stream hub repository was installed let's install from repository from here as you can see there are um, different um, uh, repository available we can we can um, install the stream hub repository here and again video add-on now so there are two available uh, let's install both because anyway there are only uh, two let's install first the flick sanity okay it's already installed and as you can see there's a check mark here let's go ahead and install uh, stream hub Alright, so let's just be patient. It says you're downloading. Again, it would depend on your internet connection. I didn't pause the video. So let's just be patient till it prompts us that it's already installed. So as you can see, um, if you Google uh, Kodi, there are a lot of um, sources available on the internet. So uh, you just have to be um, um, uh, patient enough to Google some of the sources available. There are also some builds or custom builds that you have to uh, that you can install so that uh, you don't have to manually install the sources. So again, uh, both are already installed. Let's uh, go back and install from zip file. Let's try. Um, C cloud now just to make sure let's try to install also the other one uh, the codeal that zip alright so it prompted us that it's it the repository was installed let's install from uh, repository and we're going to install codeal uh, repository so there are a lot of um, uh, a lot of uh, options here you just have sometimes you can just uh, try to explore on your own and um, there are a lot of contents here so but in this video um, we're going to install uh, a video add-on and select C cloud C cloud TV where's uh, C cloud TV it's somewhere here at the bottom so as you can see there are a lot of uh, options here let's uh, go ahead and install uh, C Cloud TV install and uh, normally if uh, you see this uh, that means uh, there are a lot these are the things that you've already installed uh, already let's try this uh, codeal uh, repository so it says you're downloading so let's just be patient till it prompts you that it's already installed so again it depends on your internet connection and yeah so as you can see here C Cloud TV was already was successfully installed and let's go back to to the main uh, to the previous one let's install oblivion repository oblivion zip let's wait for the prompt till the repository is successfully installed all right then install from repository and from here we're going to install video add-on again 
so here so there are some adult uh, contents in some of the sources but uh, let's try to look for oblivion stream I mean now uh, I went to the program add-ons then installed oblivion wizard so I think uh, that's pretty much uh, all of the sources uh, that I know you would find useful now if if you go back to uh, the main screen and you go to um, add-ons so previously in the video add-ons I only have Exodus but I now have other uh, other uh, add-ons video add-ons so this were basically the add-ons that we've installed now I'll show you um, a program add-on if you go to Ares uh, wizard you can try to uh, it, so it's a program instead of an add-on you can uh, from here we can um, um, we can install uh, the Ares, uh, Ares uh, wizard and we can uh, install a video add-on from here so it's connecting to the Ares uh, wizard server so it's trying to connect uh, says loading please wait so let's wait for a few seconds alright so if properly loaded now if you go to browse add-ons and you go to video add-ons let's install uh, covenant I selected covenant then hit install so it's uh, installing the video add-on so let's just uh, wait let's just be patient let's wait till it's completed Will depend on your internet connection so I'm not uh, pausing the video so you would see how the installation uh, w would would process so wait until you see this um, message covenant was successfully installed now it would also prompt you that you don't have the repository for this add-on so go ahead and install it hit yes so it would download Colossus so wait till you see the Colossus installed so it says Colossus was successfully installed hit OK and we're going to go ahead and uh, close this so just uh, hit no so let's try to um, restart Kodi so let's try to exit and then reopen Kodi so basically uh, that's the uh, process of installing um, installing the um, sources from Kodi okay so if you go to add-ons then from a program um, from the video add-on you would see here the covenant this is the um, the add-on that we have installed from from uh, the Ares wizard if you go to um, movies and select most popular
so let's just be patient it's trying to look for sources um, now as you can see let's say uh, Wonder Woman it would look for sources available so it's connecting to the Covenant server so it's uh, automatically looking for remaining servers you can hit cancel and um, right so it would depend on uh, which which um, um, quality uh, either 1080p or 70, 720p um, let's go ahead a sec hit the second one so it's trying to connect so there we go so as you can see it's very easy to um, to view a movie and um, uh, let's try to now if you're try, um, let's try to uh, to see the other add-ons that we've uh, that we've installed now if you want uh, live uh, TV shows you could use um, C Cloud and Oblivion. Unfortunately, I think we've we're not able to install uh, um, uh, Oblivion. So basically, that's uh, that's uh, how you install uh, sources or video add-ons to your Kodi. I hope uh, this video uh, was able to help you. Apologies for for uh, my video. I'm not a a uh, an expert on the uh, Kodi and i have um s some improvements to make on creating uh, uh videos so please don't forget to subscribe and put your comments down below on what would you recommend if you have other sources that you find interesting to be installed on kodi go ahead and type it in the comment section below so uh that would be all uh, see you again on the next one